Have you ever wanted to time travel to a city where women rule? Come and follow us to the town of Olympos on Karpathos. Olympos is one of the three most important cities of the island from ancient times that still exists and we visit the city via the walking path that dates back to that time. Our mountain tour starts at the Polaye Avrisiani in Mesokori. From there it is about a six hour walk through beautiful mountain landscape. Our walking route, marked with a blue line, through the high mountains of the island, was only replaced in 1980 by a motorway that runs along this mountain on the right side. Because the city was closed off from the outside world for so long, a special culture was able to survive here for a long time. Follow us and discover how special Olympo still is. The first thing we encounter are the abandoned medieval mills of Spoa, of a type which we will also find later on the Windy Ridge in Olympos. They were probably built around the 16th century and were important for food supply in an area with few connections to the outside world. Via the abandoned mills, we walk through a special plateau landscape that medieval farmers created to be able to cultivate every centimetre of fertile soil. High in the mountains, you will also find cairns, an age-old European tradition to mark hiking trails. As we traverse rough, high terrain, we draw closer to Olympos, and that is no coincidence. The village was built around the 8th century on the difficult ridge between the Agios Elias and Corifios mountains because the residents took refuge in difficult terrain to protect themselves against Arab raids from the sea. Step by step, the hiking trail becomes more civilized on the descent until we are rewarded with a beautiful view. We stand in front of the city of Olympos. Can you imagine that more than a thousand years ago, hundreds of donkeys used this route daily to transport merchandise and food to and from the city every day? The first thing we encounter when we enter the eastern side of the village is the Chapel of Christ with a beautiful view of the sea. From here it is clearly visible that the steep ridge provided good protection against attacks from the water, and the place names of the hamlets of Mesar Castro and Oxacamara remind us that there was once even a defensive wall here. After those first centuries, the village expanded somewhat beyond the city walls, but otherwise remained closed off from the world. As a result, house construction remained traditional, and to this day, the entire village is inaccessible by car due to the narrow streets. The main attractions are the three churches in the city. We already saw the first one. And just like the Agios Christos, the Agios and Ofrios, built in the 12th century, has a beautiful view over the sea. But the main church is located on the central square in the village that is called Platy. The Kimisitis Theotoku was built in the 16th century and has a beautiful wooden gilded iconostasis. On August 15th, the most important festival of the year is celebrated on the name day of this church. Also special here are the windmills, as we saw them before in Spoa, here in slightly better condition. But anyone who came here 50 years ago was still lucky to be able to admire them in working condition. The dilapidated mills tell the same story as the empty streets that you find here when you walk through the town out outside the tourist season. Since 1950, the population here has fallen from 1,400 to only 200 inhabitants in 2021. And although cat lovers will be pleased that wild cats have taken over the streets, this exodus threatens a very special culture, 
which is the hidden secret of this town. Olympos is one of the few places in the world where you can still admire matriarchy today. Yes, you heard right. Here, women have been in charge for centuries. Daughters inherit their mother's homes, and the hard work in the countryside and in the mills was mainly done by women. This still existing matriarchy is hard to find in the world nowadays, and also special in Greece. Men often left the village for 10 to 20 years to work elsewhere, so the woman became the basis of the family. This effect was reinforced when, from the 1950s onwards, many men even moved to America in search of work. The luxurious traditional female costumes show how important the position of women has always been here, and those who look for it will see symbols everywhere that honor the women of the village. Unfortunately, this matriarchal society, unique in the world, is under pressure because young women are now leaving the village en masse for work in the larger cities on other Greek islands. It is precisely this exodus of women that has exacerbated the population decline and a special culture here is on the verge of disappearing as the last generations of women who not only dress traditionally but also live like them are now over 60 years old. But let's be honest, no matter how unfortunate it is that young women choose a modern life, would you yourself like to stand still in time? We wholeheartedly agree with these women, and after a special journey, we are happy to return to the modern era in which men and women are truly equal. Thanks for watching, and see you again in one of our next videos.